Hi friends, David here from Learn Stage Lighting. And in today's video, we're going to take a look at professional grade lighting consoles or software. And we're going to talk about how do you know if it's right for you? And then if you know that a professional grade console is right for you, how do you choose the right one that's going to fit your needs? Let's dive in. Okay, so we came off this last video, and if you haven't checked it out, check it out here. Talking all about intermediate level consoles. And those are those lighting consoles or software that are kind of hard to describe. They're in the middle ground, right? They're not base level. They're not expert level. They're in the middle. And they can be good for a lot of purposes. But they are not, just like professional grade consoles, they're not a price bracket, okay? Like, for example, with just thinking about professional grade consoles, when I started with lighting, professional grade moving light type consoles versus more basic consoles were a difference in price bracket. Okay, it was, you know, more basic intermediate level consoles were less expensive, professional grade consoles that could control moving lights and stuff like that. And, and even before moving lights, just the professional grade, you know, theater style consoles, um, they were a lot more expensive than the, the basic DJ style consoles. And I, I'll never remember the first time that I saw somebody uh, bake a really crazy good show out of a few of these little DJ consoles and a small lighting rig that was way better than shows that I could make on, on these theatrical consoles that I learned. Um, back before we were, there were like LEDs and moving lights in my life, okay? Um, and so back then, it used to be that a professional grade console was both a price bracket and a different capability bracket. But now, it's really just about capabilities. To illustrate that point, let's talk about Onyx, okay? Onyx is my professional grade console of choice. There are a lot of reasons why we like it, but even if you don't like it, like I like it. Um, the truth of the matter is, as we watch the market closely like I do, and I constantly ask um, unbiased friends who, who aren't in the Onyx world, um, you know, about, okay, do, do you see Onyx being used more, et cetera, et cetera? Everybody I talk to, production managers, church techs, you know, uh, worship leaders who, who travel around, like, they all say, oh, we see more and more and more people using Onyx every year and they're happy with it. Um, but regardless, in the Onyx range, the NX4 is the top console. At the time of this recording, it is under $13,000, okay? And, and again, I say at the time of this recording because prices are volatile. Over the past few years, everything has gotten more expensive, right? And so if you're watching this in 10 years, it's probably not still under $13,000. And if it is, we've had a really rough 10 years economically. <laughs> um, so $13,000, right? You say, okay, that is the professional grade console. Thousands of dollars, right? But with today's modern professional grade consoles, you can go PC version, you can go console version, or anywhere in between, right? So Onyx has consoles that are many thousands of dollars. They have consoles that are a handful of thousands of dollars. <laughs> you know, like under five. They have PC wings, you know, full-fledged PC wings. Here I've got uh, the Onyx uh, NX wing, or the older version of it, okay? And if I can hit the right button, we'll see it. Um, and a full-fledged PC wing like this, at this time, is uh, under four grand, okay? Uh, then there's like a mini PC wing, the NX Touch. This is well, well under $1,000. And then last but not least, there is a DMX node. This one, the Netron EP2. And this little guy, boom, get networked DMX out. And uh, of Onyx, two universes, unlocks a license for you in Onyx. And it, at the time of this recording, is only a few hundred dollars, okay? So no longer is a professional grade lighting console a price bracket. It's just not, okay? Now, it's more of a capability bracket. Capability and learning curve, because those two generally go side by side. As, you know, I, we talk to people every day about this stuff, right? And when you're looking at intermediate to pro grade, like I just was last week with a customer, and we were on a call, and they were talking about some of the issues they were running into with Light King. 
And I started looking at their stuff, talking to them about the issues they're having, the, the way they ran into them. And it was really clear and apparent, because I look at this stuff every day, that they were just taking an intermediate level software and pushing it way too hard. Not that it wasn't a good software, because as they noted when they first started with it, they had a lot less stuff. It worked amazingly for them. But now, they've grown out of that. They've, they've grown to the place where they want the capabilities of a professional reg console or software, and they've had the learning in the intermediate realm. Now, so, so now the learning curve in a professional grade software is actually not gonna be that big, okay? And so that's, that's the difference between it. So a lot of times, okay, because you can get into this stuff so inexpensively, right? People go, oh, the professional grade software, you know, churches do this a lot, and I love churches, and I'm a volunteer church director, tech director, so don't hear this the wrong way, but churches go, oh, I can use the free version of Onyx or get one of their less expensive interfaces like this guy, right? And and I can use this software and it's going to fulfill all my needs, blah, 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 right? But maybe, maybe, uh, depending on who's programming, how much time they have, etc., it might be a much better investment to go with something intermediate level that might cost more but save you a ton of time and frustration right? But when it is time to go to that professional grade console, when you look at intermediate consoles, or maybe you use an intermediate level console, and you go, okay, this is clearly, I'm clearly continuously bumping up against the ceiling of what it can do, and I want to break free of that to be able to have much more capability. That's when it's time to go for a professional grade lighting console. Now, when we look out across these different professional grade lighting consoles, uh, there will be people who have their feet firmly in, in each different camp, right? And there's going to be people firmly in the MA camp. Um, they believe they have unlimited budgets. Um, there's going to be Kamsis people, AVO people, HOG people. I think there's still HOG people. Onyx people, um, myself included. And there's going to be people that have their feet firmly planted in each of these camps, and they'll go, oh, man, you know, you just have to use this one that I choose because it does such and such and such, and this one does such and such and such. But the raw truth of the matter is, for someone who's watching that uh, event and watching the lighting, you could program a lot of events that happen on professional grade lighting consoles, okay? And people in the audience would probably never know if it was HOG, MA, Onyx, AVO, they wouldn't be able to tell any difference between them. You could program them to, to literally accomplish the same goal, okay? Similarly, with the amount of time spent programming could be very similar amongst these different consoles for a lot of events, not all, but a lot, right? And so, at the end of the day, what matters in a professional grade lighting console? Like, what matters in that software? Ultimately, you kind of got to decide what matters most to you, okay? Now, the reason we cover Onyx here and the reason why we love it so much is because uh, it, it really is fast and quick to program uh, once you get the hang of it. It offers a lot of flexibility in ways to work with things. The Dialos pixel mapping engine that's built into it to be able to play media across your lights is just an incredible creative tool that unlocks a lot of capability that's just not available in other lighting consoles. And I know that's a bold statement. Um, and the interface, whether on console or PC, is consistent and really, really great to use. That's the biggest one, is we know that a lot of people might choose a wing or smaller console and be on a PC doing a lot of their programming. And if that's the case, or even just programming in prep for shows on a PC, then you need a good PC interface. And a lot of those, like all those other consoles I recommended, they often have you keeping up a window that shows like a fake console and you're trying to press these tiny buttons or turn these encoder wheels. It's just slow. It's just bad. Um, and so those are the reasons why, you know, we choose Onyx and we talk about it here at Learn Stage Lighting so much. Is it the perfect fit for everyone? No, I wouldn't say that. But for a lot of people, I think it can be a great fit We've got the full suite of tutorials here, and ultimately, you know, with professional grid consoles, it's the decision we've made, is that we only want to cover one so that we can cover it exceptionally well, 
okay? There are other good professional grade consoles out there, okay? But, um, you know, it's like we see, you know, we see Campsus, another good console. Um, don't like the PC interface. You know, we see Avo, good console, don't like the PC interface. <laughs> we see ETC, another great console, lots of people use it. But it's not different enough to really put twice the effort into covering two consoles for us here at Learn Stage Lane, okay? So the question becomes for you, okay, you're looking at a professional grade console. Should you go with Onyx? Should you go with something else? Well, the, the first question to answer is definitely, do I definitely need that pro grade console? Do I definitely need that pro grade control? If that answer is yes, then I would look hard at Onyx. Uh, the reason we recommend it to so many people is because there are so many good options of different hardware options that you can put together to make your perfect Onyx rig. And so you can get a lot more console per dollar than a lot of these other software, uh, software or, or consoles, okay? Um, I also love with Onyx that over time, the team has proven themselves time and time again to keep older hardware alive for a long time. So a lot of these manufacturers go look at their track record. They will go ahead and be like, oh, we're putting out version six of our software, say. And in version six, we're, we're cutting off all this old hardware, right? The Onyx team consistently over time has only done that when there's processing limitations. So like they put out their pixel mapper, they had to cut off some old consoles. However, the modules from those consoles and any USB devices from those time periods, they still work today. All of them do. Some of them, the oldest of them, like we're talking stuff from like the early 2000s, that stuff isn't officially supported, but there's people using it every day. So my, my point here is that they don't purposefully cut it off. Like there's some, there's some software, some consoles that, that just cut it off. Uh, the other thing to watch out for is uh, double cost, okay? So some of these, light, these consoles, they're gonna charge you for the hardware itself for, you know, even like a, a nice fader wing like this, they're gonna charge you the same amount of money as Onyx does. And then you have to go and pay for a software license for the amount of output you need. With Onyx, all the hardware has a license. Can you, can you get additional license if you need to? Yeah, you can pay for that, but you don't have to like some of these other ones. So that's just a little bit of why I'm so passionate about uh, choosing Onyx as a professional grade lighting console. For us, for our students, uh, for everyone, we've just been able to see over time that it's just such a good fit for so many people because it does a lot of stuff well, it's generous in how much output and capability you get per dollar and the amount of community that's available and of course the amount of resources we have available that we can follow up with is huge so if you did watch this and you're like hey professional grade console right for me that's the first step then onyx right for me okay if you got that far and you're needing some hardware to run your onyx system you gotta get it somewhere why not get it from us? So at Learn Stage Lighting Gear, we've got the full range of Onyx hardware, and uh, we would love to be your dealer for it. And if you're new to Onyx, and if you're not a Learn Stage Lighting Labs member, we have Onyx for the Complete Newbie in our advanced course that goes through everything in Onyx. We cover it all. And when you buy Onyx through us, just request a quote. We'll send you a free subscription to the labs so that you can dive deep and you can learn as well as you're working with Onyx. So, I know that's a lot, but if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out through our contact form on the gear site. And if you need lights, of course, we're a dealer for all that stuff too. And, and as we always say, you know, you gotta buy your gear somewhere. And so why not buy it from the people that teach you? We would love to be that dealer for you, but only if it's right. If a professional grade console is right for you, not right for you rather, don't buy one, right? That, that's our goal here. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video so much. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, for being subscribers here. And if you're curious about any of the Onyx hardware that we talked about, there's so much good stuff. Check out all of our reviews at Learn Stage Lighting Gear here on YouTube. And most importantly, check out Learn Stage Lighting Gear for all of your lighting needs. We'll see you guys there. Hope you have a great day. Thanks.